Ooh. So Dragon's Dogma 2 just came out the full base game. This is the character creation and story demo, which I just played a little bit since the character creation is pretty much the coolest thing about the game. So got them in detail where you can just create either human or let's say Kachit lion characters. But as positive as this is and as good as the goddamn character creation is, the base game, the actual game that just released two days ago. Let me pause that. It's on a 47 now, mixed reviews. A few minutes ago it was at a 46. And that's not good. Mostly the most negative things I've seen is, first of all, the Nouveau as an anti piracy or so software that's gonna kill your performance. And then the microtransactions are bad. In the single player game, you need to pay extra if you want to create a new game for a new character. And that's just messing with people and optimization problems for many. Next to the 65 euro price tag in, in Europe, in Europe, 65 euros in Europe. After it's 70 or so, maybe somewhere else dollars. And you know, that's just, that's just more money for this game than for Horizon Zero Dawn, which sits at the let me get me coming to the store. Sits at the 60 euros. Nope, that's not it either. Where was it? I've seen it for a second ago. I just switched it already out of here. You bastard. You bastard. There it is. With very positive 93 user reviews, only 2000 though. Well, God damn, Dragon's Dogma 2 has 25,000, so apparently it did sell at least very well. What the reviews? So mixed. Ah. Basically, what people say, it's a good game, but the Capcom monetization tactics, they're just too greedy. That's just too greedy. And that's pretty much everybody's favorite review. Hey Capcom, you can purchase a good review DLC for $1.99. I've made a little list somewhere in my library of some reviews to show you that I can dive into. Like this one, also a very liked review. Me, butchered all the NPCs to boost FPS so you have a better gaming experience. My pawn. Plus, sound judgment arisen, this was the only way. Another critic point I've heard a lot is that the uh, pawns just talk non stop, and from my short time of playing Dragon Dogma 1, one or two months ago, I already also realized that pawns talk non stop. Hey, there's a ladder here to use. Enemies are ahead, goblins, and stuff all the time. That's pretty much what pisses the most people off. That uh, consumer practices as a review embargo was in place until the release date. A list of pay to win items appeared on the store page on the release date. Reward exclusive, now unavailable, unavailable were attached to that release date. Pay to win items, sport crystals, warp locations. People defend this by saying, well, you can farm for that in game. It's just something Ubisoft does a lot, I believe. XP boosts and stuff like that. I find it very ironic that Larian Studios talked about how corporate greed is killing our industry and developers. And this game is just a showcase of corporate grief. They have a good character creator. But uh, they immediately monetize the good thing they had. That's a bad thing. Um, more things that go into the same direction. Character creation, creation, microtransaction, <sighs> CPU eating, de nouveau, anti consumer de nouveau. So that's very much the most critic points microtransactions and de nouveau. In a single player game, you should be ashamed of yourself.
Com. That's pretty much the same thing. Summed up. We got positive reviews, of course. People say if you enjoyed the first part of Dragon Dogma, which is who art, which is so old. Ah, it wasn't my thing. Gameplay wise and RPG wise, I only played it for four parts in the Let's Play. And I don't think I'm gonna play this one, besides creating the characters that I already did. On some people it runs well, RTX 3090 mine would be an RTX 3080, so I guess it would run. But uh, games like Starfield especially, just stood out, and I'm afraid of that. Mm. Here we have some big reviews, if you want to read through that while well, I take a drinking break. Ah, post. Yeah. Gameplay mechanics is pretty much Dragon's Dogma 1, just with modern graphics and modern gameplay loop. So if you want that, you can get that. Other multiple yeah, quotes like that, or do I just see that all the time because I edited it? But yeah. Uh, no problem running this game for some people it runs bad for some re people it runs normally that's an old story and it's pretty much in a lot of normal games normal games modern games the case oh, a lot of problems here and there left sides he says it's not that bad you can farm for those mtx stuff stuffies uh, that's the end of the story Okay, character creation now. I already created a, a hero and a risen. Sadly, my audio recording just completely flopped. My audio recording device decided to not record the audio properly, no compression, no limitation. But damn, the character creation is good as hell. Look at that bad boy that I created. I created lions. Black cats. That's the best part already. Can even choose a background. That's cool as hell too. We have day, night and sun cycles. Oh yeah. It's a masculine beast then. I called him. Do I see my hat? Ah, oh, my name. My name. No, I don't see my name here. I called him Kachit Beat. I wanted to call him Kachit Beat Meat. Um, back. So I guess I will create a pawn now. A main pawn. To show you that cool goddamn character creation. And everybody wants to see the Kachits. The lions. So let's start with that. Because damn. That's just good looking. That's the current haircut. <laughs> That's great. Oh. Puma. Let's <laughs> create a Karen. Oh, I guess stick with that. Wait, is that more Karen? It's more Karen. Then there are small changes. Which screams at me. I wanted to talk to the manager the most this one yes now we can change the fur a little bit more for less fur not too much here we got patterns i don't know what a current pattern would be this one pattern call up bracelets very much it's just what you're seeing blue white Orange three more so all the cat colors, a lot of them. This one super grey. Super grey and then the intensity even of the back ones. Like you can mix four different colors together. That's insanely cool. Definitely one of the best things about the game. And you can Turn it up or down. Body, you can do so much. Make it. 
so big that you can't even see her. It was all then the previous guy you already saw I made him super muscular. Muscle strength, don't see too much difference here. Trap size is a big difference, I believe. Yeah. It's Karen after all. Low bottle mass, upper body mass, which makes her more fat. Let's stick with that. That's just so much upper body posture, you can change that. Movement style. Elbow angle. <laughs> uh, invisible lat syndrome. I was just thinking about it. X or Y posture from the knee angles. Forward or backward. Perfect. Perfect. So much cool stuff. Um no. E. Uh, base hats. Uh, didn't see too much of a difference here. Brow, eyes, nose, length and size. Let me zoom in. Everything in detail. So much detail. It's cool. But uh, my first recording completely messed up. The hair color, I don't even need to change it, but I can just show you a few different ones. <laughs> of course, male and female mixed together. That's why you can see the grandpa style. 56 and color is the same pretty much as a root and a base color. Oh yeah, that looks current. Sheen position, which is also insane. That's the first time I've seen that. Ah, uh, compared it to the goddamn. Oops, nope. Starfield customization and Starfield customization were, in my opinion, very boring and bad. Yeah, you can even have so much eye customization. With Iris color, Iris secondary color, Iris Tetris, Skillar color. That's just over the top. Cool. They thought to themselves, well, we have such a cool character customization option. Cat eyes. We should just put a price tag on it. So if people want to just do character craze creations they're gonna pay for that i don't think you need to pay for that in the demo which is kind of weird uh let's just tape the teeth i gotta show you that i gotta zoom in you can deselect teeth that's just some teeth done missing like this and of course teeth color too but you need super yellow for her with black too doesn't look too good it just doesn't look very transparent Claw color, I didn't see what that actually is. Oh, that's that's called claw. No, wait, did that change? Ah, yes, now I see it. Now I see it. It's those hair here. Ah, uh, my mother language is English. Schnurhaare, I believe. Schnurhaare, that's what it's called. There are two presets which you can switch out later. The color and such. That's the one I've used. Oof. <sighs> that looks too scary. I mean, it's a current. They don't have tattoos normally. Maybe on the back, a little butterfly. Let's just go with this one, though. Scarb resets. Something I didn't look through. Oh, yeah. I actually like that one. Ah, uh, scarb resets. And then you can adjust the color here. Or put more stuff here. Body scars. Down. Okay, okay. I see, I see too much. Too confused now. Finalize. Old. Oh, again, lightning. I checked those lightning options. Good. Let's check those armor options then. They look good too. Old. Finalize. Fighter, so that's 
The buttons, they look trash. Archer looks good. Better with the male. Mage looks badass as male character too. Thief looks like a little goblin, especially C. Kind hearted, calm, simple, straightforward. Silent would be nice. Voice. You can listen to those. They will sound the same in my mind. Evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated and safe. For the uh, moment. For the moment. That will do. No, we had that already. Good. It's close and safe. Yes. The demo. I'm gonna link you the demo. Where you download that. If you wanna try that yourself, that's definitely worth it. To mess around with. And you might even be capable just in here to create multiple characters. I don't yeah, just finalize it. Good, good. Create new character. Which is kind of funny that you can create new characters in the demo apparently. But you can't do that in the main game. Is that a human? That is a human. Of course you can create humans too. Sadly you can't re randomize it. Ah, we're done. No, damn it. Did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Result. <laughs>